your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. Enfield, Connecticut police investigating a bank robbery. They tell us the M&T Bank on Route 5 and Elm Street was robbed earlier Friday. The suspect, described as a man wearing a black leather jacket, details are limited at this time, but stay with Western Mass News both on air and online for the very latest. A murder suspect faces a judge again. Jose Hernandez appeared in court Friday virtually from jail for his pretrial hearing after allegedly stabbing his girlfriend Amber Carpenter to death in her West Springfield apartment, then leaving her body for days. He faces both the murder charge as well as an assault and battery charge from a domestic dispute just a few months before Carpenter was killed. His case was continued because the lawyer for his previous charges wasn't present. He's scheduled to reappear in court on December 16th. And new developments in a deadly crash in Greenfield from Thursday. The victim has been identified as 48-year-old Connie Francis Rogers of Shelburne Falls. Police say Rogers crashed around 7 a.m. on Route 2 near the Home Depot. Police believe black ice on the road set off the deadly crash. Rogers' truck swerved into oncoming traffic, collided with a car, and then the truck caught fire. The driver of the car was unhurt, and the crash is under investigation. I'm First Alert meteorologist Don Maher. We've got another cold night coming our way tonight. Skies are going to clear out we going to hang on to a little bit of a breeze, though. Winds out of southwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we wake up tomorrow morning, bright start, but a cold one. As temperatures will start out in the 20s. Winds not as strong tomorrow and a lot of sunshine coming our way. So tomorrow, temperatures upper 30s and lower 40s. A few degrees warmer than today, but still below where we should be for this time of year. And then as we head on into tomorrow evening, lighter winds starting out with clear skies. Temperatures will drop quickly once the sun sets and then as we head on into Sunday, disturbance will approach. So a blend of sunshine and clouds, windy chance for a flurry or a snow shower as that front moves on through. That will reinforce the colder air for Sunday night and into Monday with temperatures Monday morning starting out in the teens. Highs near 40 on Monday afternoon, dry Tuesday and Wednesday, milder. Then we'll cool things back down for Thanksgiving Day. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.